All right, so we've been talking about triangle types. Uh, this triangle right here, let's go ahead and throw in one more tidbit on our givens. Put that in. So what kind of triangle am I looking at, vocab-wise? It's a right and it's isosceles. So just as a note to myself, this is a right isosceles. So my goal is to ultimately get AB. What can I do to get that, though? All right, so because it's an isosceles, because they're marked with the same ticks, I know that AC is equal to BC. So I can go ahead and write 3x plus 2 is going to equal 4x minus 1, right? Well, let's, let's see. Uh, let's subtract 3x from both sides. Gives me 2 is equal to x minus 1. Add the 1. x is 3. Now, where do I substitute that to get my answer? 4x minus 5, yeah. I'm trying to get AB, which is over here. So AB is 4x minus 5. Plug it in. So that gives me. 12 minus 5, which is 7. And that's my final answer. It's real tempting with a lot of these to go ahead and plug it back in here. So always double check what the question was asking for to make sure you're answering what they want. Um, and also watch what you said equal to each other. I've seen a lot of students take this problem and go right in and say, oh, 4x minus 5, that's 4x minus 1 and then they go, or they'll set all three of them equal to each other and then freak out when it doesn't work. And on one occasion I had a student put all three of them adding up to 180. So don't do that either. That's an angle property. We'll talk about that one probably uh, tomorrow. Questions on that guy? Hmm? You're right.